From the Hemisphere Arena in San Antonio, Texas, the New Orleans Jazz are fighting for their first NBA playoff berth. They're led by pro basketball's leading rebounder, Truck Robinson. At only 6'7", he became the first player this season to surpass 1,000 rebounds. There will be no Pistol Pete in this afternoon's game. Maravich is out. Pistol has a bad knee. He's expected to start working out again tomorrow, so that's good news for the Jazz. But he's not here today, so that's a little, bad news. A little news pressure on Truck Robinson now. Yes, huh? it is. He's going to have to start scoring a little bit more today, along with all the rebounds that he normally gets. So it's going to be a good contest. This, at that, Robinson trying to go one on one on Dietrich. He's got good touch for a big man. For a big guy, he can do it all. He can play small forward if necessary, and he also is a big power. Elgin Baylor, coaching, of course, the New Orleans Jazz. Kirk Robinson ripping it off the board. Dampier goes the other way as Robinson goes inside and muscles his way for two. And Robinson, New Orleans trying to hang in there. Remember, they're playing without Pete Maravich. Robinson. Robinson. Individually. What a hero he was in the game last night in Seattle. A foul call, a pushing foul, or a whacking foul with the arm. Griffin gives it to Kelly, I mean to Robinson, makes a good fake, goes in and gets fouled by Dietrich. That was an excellent move. Robinson goes to the line. Robinson averaging 22 and a half points per game, averaging 16 rebounds a game. Excuse me, neither club is shooting particularly well, but both clubs are hustling so that they're making it a pretty interesting ball game for Angle. John Wooden was one who cut it well, as you know, Stu. McElroy missing with a shot. Inside, powering his way. Just with sheer hustle and determination and strength is Robinson, and he's really ripping him. The G42 in the second period with 3.59 to go in that game. Robinson really dominating inside. Fourth line, Paltz up front, Gervin on the back line, and Larry Keenan. And Chuck Robinson now has pumped in 15 points. Jay said he likes it out here. He said he worked very hard the other day on his can. It's hard to leave this area. He's pumped in 16 already. 58 to 51, the Spurs leading by seven. It's cut back to five as Robinson has 20. Robinson has it. Robinson from Washington. And that was a fine trade. For 15 to 20. No doubt about it. This may turn out to be a bang of a ball game anyway. A bang up ball game. And 10 seconds to shoot. McElroy and Robinson with a rebound. This could put him in the lead. They've got it. Leonard Robinson is single handedly at this point keeping the Jazz in the lead. They now have Overding on Robinson trying to muscle him a little. And he goes over the top of them. Bingo! He whacks that one in off the board. Over here. They're up by five. New Orleans trying to battle back. Robinson is double teamed. It's good. And he's fouled in the act of shooting, I believe. He has done it all. Aaron James gives Chuck Robinson a great pass down low. He gives a head and shoulder fake to Mike Green, and unlike previously, does not get all ball. Quarter score, Philadelphia by seven over Phoenix. That's Robinson hitting the backboard. He's done it all. Chuck Robinson. Some of the slack of uh, George Gervin's off shooting today. No doubt about it, he's pumped in 24. Robinson takes Olberding to the cleaners and draws the foul from the foul line this afternoon. He has four out of five. The man who just came out, Mark Olberding. What they're going to have to do is just try and play. Mike Green, rebounded by Robinson. Who is off the boards? Antonio leading by one. Six minutes and seven seconds to go. Rebounded by Robinson. He is only 6'7", and he leads the NBA in rebound. Griffin with it. Over to Saunders. Saunders goes into the hole. Dietrich trying to stop. The big guy can't do it. He goes around him. We have now one minute to go in the game. Watts finds the open man. It is good, and he's fouled in the act of shooting. So a great play by Watts. That's the thing he does so effectively. Gets a pick by Griffin. Goes baseline with the big guy. Continues on. Waits for someone to commit. Gives to Robinson. Takes it up. Is fouled and gets the basket for the possible three-point play. What a play by Griffin underneath. He boxed out very well and let Robinson go in. Foul on Dietrich, his fifth. 56 seconds left to go in the game. This could tie it up. He's got 39 points. That's a new high for Truck Robinson.